I would like to show you graphically what where the uh, coordinates of the vertices of the image are with the triangle with these coordinates. So I'm going to go over here to Desmos, and I want you to see where that answer comes from. Helps a lot if you can visualize it. Okay, so here's our original point A. It was at negative three, zero. Our original point B was at negative two, three. And our original point C was at negative one, one. Now, when you rotate something 180 degrees about the origin, it's as if you drew a circle with the center at the origin going through that point. So let's start with C. And if I draw a circle that goes through point C or very close to through point C, and then you think about this, if I started here and rotated it 180 degrees to here, I would be at approximately one negative one. And so that is my rotated A. Nope, I'm on C, that's my rotated C. Notice this was at negative X positive Y. This is at positive X negative Y. We kept the same numbers in the same place, just negated both of them. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of our original C because we already used it. And we're going to get rid of the circle. And now we're going to do the same with B. So if we draw the circle that has a center at the origin and goes through point B, if you think about it, let me get rid of this for a moment. If you think about it, we're going to go here and we're going to go all the way around 180 degrees until we get here. Okay. Um, it is better if we draw a line there. Let's draw the line. So here's a line through point B through the center. So if we go 180 degrees around the circle, we end up here at 2, negative 3, which is just negating both of the original B coordinates. So let's go and get our rotated B. It's here. And then let's erase its circle and its original so as to not confuse things. Now A, which sits here on the origin, it's the easiest one to draw a circle around because we know it's exact radius. And so if you go 180 degrees around here, you end up at positive three zero. All we did was change the sign on X and change the sign on Y. So let's get that. So here's our rotated point A. It's over here and we will get rid of these guys and that circle. Okay, so we've done the first part. Let's get rid of this line, get rid of this circle. Okay, so those are all my rotated values. Now I need to reflect them around the line y equals negative x. So basically C is on the line of rotation, it doesn't change. So already we know that the reflected C is in the exact same spot. And I can come up here and erase the rotated C. because it's sitting on the line of rotation. Now, to find the others, if we would draw a perpendicular line from B to here, however far we got from here to here, we just go the same distance again, and we'll land right there at positive three, negative two. But let's draw it just to show you. 
So this is this one. Okay, so imagine going the same distance here on the other side and you land right there at three negative two. So our reflected B is right there. Now we can get rid of our rotated B because it's just confusing. And now the last one we need to do, we need to reflect A. So we're gonna draw a line from here to here and whatever distance we went from here to here perpendicular, we go the same distance over here. So this point is at uh, three zero. So So here's it. Notice it's perpendicular to the line y equals negative x, and it is this certain distance. And if we go the same distance, we land right there at zero, negative three. And so here is our reflected A. Notice it's the same distance from the yellow line. And so, We'll get rid of our rotated A, which leaves us only our reflected values. Get rid of this, get rid of this. And you can pick them off of there. A is at zero, negative three. B is at three, negative two. And C is at one, negative one. That is answer B. Here, A was at zero, negative three, B was at three, negative two, and C was at one, negative one.